Hi everyone, Tom here with Audio Imperia, and today I'm going to be walking you through Audio Imperia's new sample library, Araya Light Edition. Araya is a cinematic string ensemble library made for the free Native Instruments contact player and is fully compatible with NKS. Araya Light Edition works in the free contact player. It's really affordable with its price point being $99. You have legato for all instruments, two ready to go mixes, classic and modern. You have individual sections, 16 violins, 10 violas, six celli and four double basses. There are some pre-orchestrated ensemble patches, performance patches, as well as full ensemble patches, and also some lovely sound design patches too. Some of you watching this might be aware of Araya Full Edition and might be wondering what the differences are between that and this new light edition of the library. So in this light edition of Araya, you have the essential articulations, whereas in the full version of Araya, you'll have a lot more articulations. You have limited round robins here. There aren't any mic positions, which is why there's just the classic mix and modern mix, and there's no measured tremolo. So if we just have a look here, I'll show you, we've got the 16 violins patch from Araya light edition. These are the articulations that you have in there. Now in the full edition, we have basic articulations and advanced articulations, more articulations, for example, like the spiccato fast and slow, whereas in the light edition, you just have spiccato, which is the spiccato slow. Let's start out with the individual sections. And this is where we go into the multi patches folder and we have the 16 violins there. And let's take a listen to some of the legatos in this library. Quickly jumping over to the advanced tab, you'll see that we have more control here. I want to start off by just showing you quickly what this legato smoothness control does. So by default, it comes set at 50%. And basically, legato smoothness offers a compromise between well-defined legato transitions, which is a bit more bumpy, but works best for fast passages. So if we turn that down... and smoother legato transitions will be less bumpy and it works better for slower passages. Since this setting is very personal, the library opens up with it being set at 50% and you can move it wherever you want to your liking. You'll also notice this sample start slider here. This comes preset to minus 125 milliseconds and you can change that to whatever you want. So let me just quickly show you this. If I set this to minus 250 milliseconds, it's going to have a bit more delay when you're playing it in by hand and you'll just need to make sure that you set that to the negative track delay in your digital audio workstation. But that will give you the most realism. So let's take a listen. Okay, now let's listen to that same spiccato pattern, but with the reverb turned off using the modern mix. And now let's listen to it using the classic mix. And now what we can do is set that to zero or say it's just set like this you can actually go in the main tab you can just hit the tight button there and that will automatically set it to zero so that's a quick way you can audition that without having to go in there 
and change it. So that's quite useful. So that's what this sounds like now with the type function on. And one more time at minus 250 milliseconds. So be sure to check the following video to get the best sound out of the libraries, especially if you want to really understand how sample start works and how you can get the most realistic sound using these libraries. One last thing while we're here I wanted to show you is what the vibrato does to the sound. So say we have something like this. So that's really useful being able to control that and crossfade. Now let me show you all the string instruments playing together, just playing different legato lines, and then we'll move on to other articulations. And while we're here, I thought I'd just show you the same little mock-up using the classic mix though, rather than the modern mix and turn off the external reverb. Let's take a look at some of the other articulations. And while we're here taking a look at this section, let me just show you a few of the functions down here. So you've got a Sordino effect, which is emulated, second violins, and Niente. In the full version of Araya, there is a real sustained Sordino articulation. If you want to learn a bit more about how this Sordino effect was achieved, just check out the walkthrough video for the full version of Araya. Niente basically means that when the mod wheel reaches the bottom, when it reaches zero, that will just go to silence basically. Taking a look at the second violins button, so the normal legato or any of these articulations, if you just play it normal, if you wanted to have the second violins, you can turn this function on.
and these two arrows, those two will give you two different versions of the emulation. Moving on, let's take a look at the pre-orchestrated ensembles and also the full ensemble patches. Here's the same thing with the classic mix. And here we have the full ensemble patch. Moving on, we have the performance patches. We have the full ensemble performance patch loaded up here and you've got a bunch of different ones. So you've got a performance patch for the violins, the violas, the celli, the double basses, the pre-orchestrated ensembles, and then obviously this full ensemble patch that we have here. These patches can be controlled by velocity dynamics, by how hard you're pressing the keys, or the CC dynamics, which is what the mod wheel is doing. <laughs>
This is an example of it being controlled by the CC dynamics. So you'll see the dynamics changing with the mod wheel and you'll see how it changes the sound as well. And finally, we are onto the pads section of Araya Light Edition. So just to quickly show you again, you can check out the walkthrough video for the full version of Araya to get a better understanding of this. But you have the 10 pads here, the different pad sounds within just the one patch. And you've got these different effects that you can apply distortion, lo-fi, chorus, flanger, you know, a bunch of different things. So let's take a listen to a few of these pads. You can change obviously the attack and release as you want here. So this has been a walkthrough of Audio Imperia's new sample library, Araya Light Edition, which is $99 and you can pick it up today at audioimperia.com. And remember that if you buy Araya Light Edition, you can use what you paid for it as a credit towards the full edition of Araya. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.